But yeah, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Major Slack Attack, your first stop for titillating tactical Tamriel gameplay. And this is my Stealth Archer build walkthrough, one of the most requested walkthroughs of all the Skyrim builds I've presented here on this channel. This is going to be a complete Stealth Archer build walkthrough, not just a quick and dirty starter build. And I'll be playing this on legendary difficulty as usual, but with one special rule of engagement, and that is our character may not handle any gold whatsoever all right this means no earning gold and more importantly no spending gold that's right no purchases of any kind so basically this will be a no purchase challenge run and in case you're still not fully grasping uh still not grasping the full ramifications of this no purchases means no buying skill training no carriage rides no doing favor quests or chores that pay any amount of gold as part of the reward. No rented rooms at the local inn. No hiring mercenaries. No buying weapons or armor of any kind. No buying smithing materials of any kind. No buying, and this is a biggie, no buying soul gems of any kind. And that means my special, uh, what I call my power enchanting machine is going to be severely handicapped, okay? In fact, it's going to be a major chore just gaining access to the College of Winterhold at all since we can't purchase any spells and as you may or may not know um, you need to purchase a random spell in order to get past the gatekeeper of the, go the College of Winterhold. So just getting into the College of Winterhold is going to be a major major chore uh, right there. So the power enchanting machine will be totally nerfed. Okay first of all I'm going to have to go out and find a large quantity of empty soul gems. I can buy filled ones so I'm going to have to you know find empty ones okay a large quantity of empty soul gems and then I'm gonna have to fill them manually by going hunting all right or you know by going into combat and this alone will probably present the biggest hurdle to overcome in this challenge run all right uh, as this walkthrough progresses you're gonna very quickly realize that this no purchase rule of engagement will very profoundly handicap our ability to min max this character build uh, without skill training, we're going to have to level up all skills the hard way, that is by actually using the skill. No carriage rides means we're going to have to do a lot of running around on foot for the first half of the walkthrough until we get some key locations discovered. Fast travel will be permitted, but the plain fact of the matter is you have to actually discover the location before you can fast travel there, right? Um, all weapons, armor, and resources of any kind will have to be found items. All right, can't buy anything, so whatever we need, we're going to have to actually go out into the wilderness and find it. Or steal it. <laughs> but then, uh, stealing stuff in Skyrim runs the risk of getting a trio of hired thugs sent after you. And as, as of course, as many of you know, dealing with a trio of hired thugs on legendary difficulty is no picnic. In fact, if it happens to you early game, on legendary difficulty a trio of higher thugs typically means you have to run away run far far away so in short we're gonna have to apply some major strategy to get this build complete not that I don't use strategy anyways in my other walkthroughs but uh, we're gonna have to apply more strategy okay we're gonna have to make the most of all the resources we can muster up locally all right um, I'm gonna respect the spirit of this challenge and of course keep things entertaining by avoiding going on long treks halfway across the map just to get stuff I need. Okay, for example, in many of my builds, I typically start the build by hiring a carriage to go to Riften and to, to acquire several key items, such as uh, the unique horse Frost. Um, I get the Amulet of Xenathar, the Thieves Guild Hood I sometimes get. All, all of that I get Riften by just, you know, taking a carriage out to Riften and getting all that stuff. In this challenge run, I'm not going to ride a horse all the way from white run all the way out to Riften just to write, try to reproduce that strategy okay this is what I regard would regard as not respecting the spirit of the challenge which is mainly you know to force you to make use of resources and situations available to you in your immediate area as you work your way as you gradually work your way around the gamescape okay so as you see um, this no purchases rule of, rule of engagement is going to dramatically change the gameplay. All right, now I originally tried out this run on my experimental no commentary channel Slack Lab, 
I eventually aborted the run because I felt that, not because I couldn't handle the challenge, hell no. Um, I aborted it because I felt that Skyrim makes very poor no commentary videos. Skyrim is a very cerebral thinking man's game and it's just begging for commentary. So that's the main reason why I aborted that, that run there. So I'm moving this run, this entire challenge run, over here to Major Slack Attack. I'm adding commentary. I'm starting over from scratch using a Breton instead of a Khajiit because I think a, a Breton's a better choice. I'll get into that, more into that later on. And um, I'm also going to do what I call a zero start. That is, we're going to start the game here at the exit of Helden Keep at level one. All right, with no skills leveled up whatsoever. Okay, nothing's leveled up with the exception of Sneak. For some reason, I can't seem to run through Helgen without leveling up Sneak a little bit. Oh, here I did it. Okay. I managed to pull it up. Okay, yeah, that's the tough one. I don't know why that is. Why? I think it's because you, you crouch at the beginning. Anyways, I'll get into that later. And um, nothing in our inventory. Absolutely nothing. Okay? Absolutely nothing. Lone block picks, no nothing. Okay, this is what I call a zero start. I think you have to keep the Helga Keep key on board in order to get um, Hadvar to spawn with you as you exit Helgen Keep. I tried that a couple times and whenever I didn't keep the Helgen Keep key uh, he wouldn't come out here and then the, the quest wouldn't advance to the next one before the storm. Alright, so that's it. Uh, meet our hero for this run, Leia Lightfoot. And right now I'm going to show you very quickly how to create Leia and how to run her through Helgen Keep to achieve this what I call a zero start. Alright, let's get to it. Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. You there. Step forward. No, I want to try to run for it. I think I can make it. <laughs> Who oh, are that. you? Okay, here we go. Here's our character build. We're going to go with a Breton, as I said. Breton. Um, female, of course, so we can enjoy watching her running around in her bikini. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you how I made uh, Leia Lightfoot. I went with preset one. Let's go on over to... Um, I just changed a few things. Eye color. I put it right under the first O in, in color. Okay, that's her eye color. Nose type is uh, under the P in type. That's the nose type. Mouth shape is under the S, or just before the S, and right there. Okay, that's the mouth shape. And hair, we'll give her kind of like a Princess Leia loop the loop kind of hairstyle here. It's right about that one right there, All right? And um, hair color, put that all the way there at the at the left end, and that's it. And let's make sure she's uh. Got her weight maxed out because we know we like her to be nice and bosomy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Body. I think this. No, hang, yeah. Move this over like that. There we go. That's it. That's the lay of light foot. All right. Lay. Uh, Light foot. You from Daggerfall, Breton? Fleeing from some court intrigue? Okay, now I'm sure all of you are very familiar with the storyline, so we could just skip this opening part here and we'll get right to the part where we gain control of our character. And I'll show you how to run her through, how to quickly run her through Helgen Keep to achieve what I call a zero start. Okay, we're just about to gain control of our character. Right now we start scrouch, scrouch. I believe that's where the game sometimes will award you a little bit of sneak leveling up. What is that thing? 
Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. Okay, now basically I'm just going to speed run through Helgen Keep this opening part here. This is not like a, an attempt to be some kind of record breaking speed run. This is just, you know, get things done quickly and efficiently because there's only a few things we need to do. Now we're going to go with Hadvar instead of Rayloth. I always go with Rayloth because you get, like, um, you make more money. But this time we're going to go with Hadvar. The red guy. Typically I go with that guy there, Rayloth. And we go in that door there, but this time we're going to go with Hadvar. This is because when you get to Riverwood, you get some free iron ingots. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? Bring us of the end times. Moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Okay, get the bindings off. There you go. Take Cut a look you around. loose. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see Point. if I can find something for these bones. Should have access to everything to see if we... Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. See that? For some reason, the game awards you with a little bit of sneak leveling. Anyways, that's no biggie. As you can see, everything else is at default. Now we just have to get through how can keep... One thing you have to do is loot this chest. Gotta get that armor. And let's just drop everything right now. We don't need it. Keep yeah, the helmet key key. Yank on this chain. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. Yank on this chain. We don't have to deal with the battle in here because we already had the key to the door on the other side, so let's just go straight through. Down the stairs, leave, leave Hadbar behind, it's no biggie. The dragon trash is part of the keep, so you have to go through this door here. In here, all you have to do is loot that barrel with the potions in it. That's it. In the next room here, all you have to do is loot the mage in the locked cage here. And that's it. I'm just trying to get far enough away to see that nobody's chasing me. I may have accidentally picked up some gold when I quickly looted that guy. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to this... Uh, guy here and dump everything, including the gold. Okay, dump it all. Once again, keep the key because I think that's required. Okay, so once again we had nothing on, nothing in our inventory and no gold. Here, I just want to wait for my stamina to recharge. And I'll just skip ahead. Okay. Stamina respawned. Stick to this wall here. We can jump over here like this and bypass all those guys there. Hit the switch. Spider and just stick to the left. And same with the bear room. And this should get Hadvar to spawn with you as soon as you exit. Occasionally he doesn't. I don't know why that is. But he should come out. What? There he is, yeah. 
if he doesn't try waiting an hour. And I would strongly recommend doing a quick Looks save like just before the big time. cavern. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is and that's it, that the first quest will be completed. And you've gotten through Helgen Keep. You have zero in your sure, inventory. You and nothing leveled up. And you're at level one. With the exception, like I said, of Sneak. But I think this will actually disappear once you reload the game. I don't know why that is. This could be a glitch. But yeah, nothing's leveled up at all. Right? And we are indeed playing on uh, Legendary difficulty. There you go. So that's it. That's how to do a zero start. And coming up next video, we're going to get underway with this fantastic no purchase challenge run to create a stealth archer build starring Leia Lightfoot. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, give me a big old thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right. See you next video when we get this run underway.